So why is the market slightly dropping? What's going on team? It's Ricky with Tactical Solutions here with a quick stock market update. Uh, the NASDAQ market is down, SQQQ is up. Uh, there's actually, it was actually a pretty interesting live trading session this morning. So a lot of you guys know that I trade live every morning with my Learn Plan Profit Group. Uh, one of the things that we were focusing on is uh, we watched the NASDAQ market push, which meant that SQQQ was selling off. And it was honestly a beautiful setup. So if you look at QQQ based off of its performance yesterday during that after or normal market hours and then after market hours, we had a resistance right around 283.60. And when the market opened, we began to indicate signs of an uptrend. We broke pre-market highs. And then guess what? We began to test that same resistance range. Again, resistance levels are never exact price points. They're around general levels, and I'm very happy that we pointed that out because within that live trading session, my Learn Plan Profit Group saw me enter my SQQQ position, which I ended up riding all the way down. So what that means is when TQQQ or when the NASDAQ market is overbought, that means that SQQQ is oversold, right? So therefore, there was a lot of upside potential. Based off of how things played out, I only anticipated in making 3% to the moving average. It ended up gapping all the way up to pre-market resistance levels or pre-market highs. And I comfortably locked in my profits and reduced my position size right around $53 a share. Uh, that was a 5% move in just a couple of minutes, right? Uh, now markets are getting a little choppy and you might be asking, right, Ricky, why is the market going up? Ricky, why is the market going down? One of the things that was released one hour before the market opens, you're going to see that a lot of news outlets are talking about that. You know, the market is dropping because of jobless claims reports. No, that's not true. Uh, look at this. These reports were released at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. These are the initial claims. For those that are unaware of what that is, initial claims are jobless claim reports, right? How many people have reported to not have a job? And you can see, right? We've talked about it. Bad news is good news right now. Because if they see that more people are reporting not having a job or are jobless, then that means that the economy is feeling the pressure of the Federal Reserve. And that's all the Federal Reserve wants, for the economy to feel the pressure. So you can see that right at 8.30, which is one hour before the market opens, that once this report was actually released, literally at 8.30, we gapped all the way up. Then we pulled on back and then we gapped up. So it's very naive for people to think that, no, the market is going down or the market's choppy because of these jobless, jobless claims reports. That's BS, it's 100% BS. We all know that the Federal Reserve, all they want is for the economy to slow down. All they want is to go from 3.7% unemployment rate to 4.4% by next year. They want less people employed. They need the economy to feel the pressure. Right now, bad news is good news. So please do not misunderstand these headlines that a lot of these news outlets are using to try to justify what it is that's going on. I mean, you have to think about it. Why is the market trading the way that it's trading? Well, what do you mean? We gapped up, what, 15% on TQQQs, which means that we should have gapped up, yeah, a little bit over 5 to 6%, almost 7% in just two to three days for the NASDAQ market. That's huge. I mean, it was even the S&P 500 that said that it had its two biggest consecutive green days since the start of the pandemic. I mean, this week is very unique, right? Especially after all of that selling pressure that we experienced in September, it's no surprise that in October there was some form of bounce. But guess what? I mean, is it a surprise that the market is getting rejected or that it's struggling here? Why is the market not going up? Well, again, we've been selling off all month long. How are you surprised that now it's struggling to go up. I mean, if anything, it's just get, getting ready at this point to go right back down. Inflation is still high. Interest rates are still high. Economy, yes, it's finally beginning to feel the pressure, which is good news. But like we talked about yesterday, OPEC just announced that it's gonna slow down its production of oil by 2 million barrels a day. This means that not this report, but the next CPI data report, we should see CPI come in higher than expected. Let me ask you a simple question. What do you think is going to happen if the CPI data report or the inflation report comes in higher than expected? I mean, it doesn't take a rocket science to understand how the domino effect of reduction in production for oil is going to affect the energy sector. And again, you might be saying, oh, Ricky, well, the Federal Reserve only cares about core inflation. We'll look at core inflation. 
and look at all the different factors within core inflation that get influenced also by the price of oil. Travel, transportation, what? Do you think that they run off of fumes? No, they run off of energy, they run off of oil, right? And guess what? That's gonna be more expensive. And what do you think is gonna happen when those things are more expensive? Then all of the other things are gonna be more expensive, right? It's not about, oh, Ricky, I mean, core inflation doesn't include food or energy. I, I didn't know, I've only, I've only talked about it a couple of times, right? This is why it's so important, right? To understand that things can definitely get worse before they get better. That being said, I still think that right now is a great time to prepare to invest long-term. It's not the best time to trade, especially if you're new to trading, especially if you suck at risk management. But now is a great time to prepare long-term. Preparing does not mean that you have to buy now. It just means that you create a plan of action and you select the stocks that you're gonna to choose to take advantage of when the opportunity presents itself. Other than that, I'll leave it at that. Again, if you guys have any questions about what we talked about today, feel free to send me a direct message via Discord, and that's that first link in the description down below. If you ever wanna see what it's like to watch me trade live, again, my Learn Plan Profit Group gets to watch me trade live every single day right at Market Open. So if you wanna watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow at Market Open, click the second link down below, learn a little bit more about my Learn Plan Profit Group, and see if it's a good fit for you. I really do appreciate your guys' time. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.